Hi everyone, it's Don and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today I want to bring you another interview, this time with one of the dancers in the performers on the Royal Princess and she performs a lot of the other chores in fact. She's in charge of making sure all the props are in order, all the things are ordered that they need for their production shows. She's in charge of training new dancers coming on board. Basically, she looks after all the dancers and entertainers and singers in, in all the production shows and she was gracious enough to uh, allow me to interview her and we talk a little bit about where she's going, where she's going next, how long she's been in, what her jobs are, and some of the things that are great and not so great about being on a cruise ship and performing day after day on a ship. So let's check that out right after this. Here we are, I'm backstage, and this is the changing room, so don't look back here because people might be changing for rehearsal, so. And that's one thing I noticed, uh, I used to, I actually won a scholarship once uh, for acting when I was in high school, oh. uh, but I got married and went in a whole different direction completely. But uh, I know very well, working backstage, you sometimes have to kind of give up your modesty a little bit because the, the wardrobe changes are, are just quick. You just have to do it. It's just part of the, part of the, the thing, right? There is no time for modesty. You don't have individual all. dressing rooms. You're not no. running. So you get very well acquainted with your fellow. And it's, it's, just, it's just part of the job. So people always ask that. They say, oh, do everybody have your own dressing room? And they said, no, not everyone has your own dressing room. No, no, we've got boys and girls in here. No time for modesty. No, no, because uh, if you uh, are on board and you get to see, say, the secret silk, some of the wardrobe changes on that are like... I think like sometimes we have about 20 seconds. Yeah. So we, we do have help. We've got dresses. We've got eight guys that actually have other jobs around the ship. Yep. And then we train them and Princess paid them to come and change us at night. So without them, we would be... We probably wouldn't make it on stage a lot of the time without yeah. them. Oh yeah, the backstage crew and the sound guys, the lighting, all are intricate into this. And we were just talking about, I, I was on the cruise, you saw the vlogs earlier guys in April, and I recognize pretty much all the staff members, which is, which is really neat, except for one I, I think I didn't recognize, and one I saw was missing, which is pretty neat, because I, I remember seeing the Encore show and yes. when the staff members came on and they were doing their numbers, I said, that's the father in the secret silk. That's the crane. Oh, that, I, I knew who was each cast. And then the, the songs started coming back into my head. Who sung uh, Stronger and who sung uh, Money Changes Everything. So I, I, all the recollections, it's funny how they stick with you. And that's a really good sign of a really good performance is when those memories come back. And uh, I travel so much with so many different cruise lines but i will say i love princess for their shows i'm not gonna lie i've i've been here for 17 years now and i think the reason that i've stuck around so long is the quality of their shows and we're constantly doing new shows and our shows are all in-house so all of our shows are created just for princess they're not you won't find them anywhere else some other cruise lines do bring shows on from land that are already established but yeah but we we start all of our shows from scratch and they're You'll only ever see them on a princess ship. And you even match up your singers to the performances as well, like vocal pitches. And oh, yes, yes. I, I noticed that because some songs are not meant for some singers, obviously. No, no, because, no. And none of them are meant for me. As <laughs> is, when you see me in karaoke, forget about it. So, well, I've been rude. Why don't you introduce yourself and tell everybody what you do on the ship? Well, I'm, I'm Bex. I come from Brisbane in Australia and as I mentioned I've been with Princess for 17 years now. I was actually only going to come to do one contract and fell in love with it and they can't get rid of Surprise. me now so I'm still here. Um, so I'm the cast manager so I'm one of the dancers as well. I am in the shows but then I'm also in charge of making sure the shows um, stay how they were intended so I'm in charge of the singers and the dancers on board. Uh, not the other guest entertainers but just for the production shows. So I make sure everything runs smoothly in those. I do the office side of the job. Um, we have a very large dressing room, so there's a lot of ordering and making sure that supplies are stocked. Uh, we have a safety element on board. I do the daily scheduling. 
um, it's all the fun stuff that nobody else wants to do as well. Yeah, there's always paperwork involved yep. all the time. So the dancers, uh, do they do any other jobs on board other than the dancing and singing, or are they strict? No. For, for, for Princess, we actually are just hired to dance and sing. Yep. So we are not required, well, some of our, I, I lie, some of our smaller ships, uh, they do uh, dance and crew stuff. So they might also uh, be needed to host the bingo or, or things like that, smaller jobs. Uh, but for the, mm, the majority of our ships, we are just hired to sing and dance. You might see some of my dancers around, however. Uh, we do have extra jobs on board that if, because we do have a lot of spare time compared okay. to most departments on board. Yeah. Uh, so you might see my guys helping out at the internet cafe or the art auction, or sometimes they dress up at the gangway for the okay, photographers for the photographers. and do the, the photos as you get off. Um, but they're extra paid jobs and it's up to my guys if they want to do them. So they don't have to, they're not forced to, but a lot of them choose to because as I said, we do get a lot of spare time and it's a little bit different to being on land. You can't just get in your car and go somewhere. <laughs> okay. On this show, you guys are doing four production shows, I believe, yes. right? Yes, we've got the four. So, so let's, let's get down to what would your favorite production show be? Oh, on this ship? I, don't know. Oh, I always I, put people on the on the spot when I, I ask. Them. I don't know if I could give you a favorite because I love each one because they're all. That's that's a cop out. You see, different. Bex, she's copping out because that's what I do, right? You. <laughs> oh. I love Colors of the World. I'm not going to oh, okay. lie. Um, probably mainly because it's a dancey show. Yeah. We we dance quite. It's a very heavy dance show. Um, but I love Encore because I get to do the Paso Doble, which is one of my favorite numbers. Okay. But then we don't dance as much it's, it's a more showcase of the it's singers. more in an in individual dance yes teams yep. um more. the secret silk is a massive massive show so when we finish that show at the end of the hour it's a, a big accomplishment we all feel the, drained as well yeah. as <laughs> very excited that yeah. we got through it um and then sweet soul music is a motown show yeah so the music you can't help but the energy just comes. So basically, all very she likes them all. I do. I do. <laughs> that, that, that's code for I like them all. But uh, as a, somebody who watches, if you uh, happen to look out, you'll normally see me in the front row because I'm a solo cruiser normally. And there's nine seats in the front row, and I get that middle seat because there's couples, couples on each side. But uh, I can sometimes see uh, a production show that people have been performing a long time. And then I see one that's newer, like the Secret Silk, right. and you can see almost an excitement sometimes in the dancers and the performers because they're so excited that it's a new songs and new performers. I imagine it can get a little stale after a while, and you have to in, you have to instill enthusiasm in every show. You can't just come on and no, all no, right, no, right? Yeah. You gotta. I'm having a good time no matter what, right? That's and probably another reason I stayed with the princess um, I before I came on board a cruise ship I actually did do a show on land where you do the same show every night for eight months mm -hmm. and I won't lie I did get a little bored by the end of that performing the same repetitive every yeah. single night so I love being on board as a performer that we get to do so many different shows different varieties so it doesn't get as stale as quickly yeah because you're, you're constantly on your toes because as I said you're performing something different every night that's uh, some of the other cruise lines as you guys might not know is they have that one performance and because the ships are so large they hold some of them hold 6,000 p passengers 6,500 uh, they can only do so many performances in a seven-day cruise so they do it every night so everyone has a chance to see it well if you're doing the same show five out of seven nights week after week after week I imagine that can get pretty stale no matter how good the show is to yourself as a performer I can I can imagine but yes yeah I haven't done that for a while so but I do notice when I'm walking around and I'm talking to all the staff members and everything everybody is always pretty upbeat I any I catch people off guard just to let you know I catch <laughs> them off guard I'll I'll meet them behind the in some places that m most people can't get to and they're joking around and having fun. Um, even the bartenders here, uh, when they're doing the flair show, when oh, they're yep, doing, yep, that's pretty impressive. they laugh at each other's mistakes and they have such a good time. And that's genuine. That's not a show. Everyone seems to be having a really good time. And I see that with the cast members here as well. They joke back and forth. When I'm walking around the ship, I'll see them heading off to have coffee together. Oh, they're, yeah. they're, they're hanging out as a group. It's not like, okay we done work we got to get away so we, we become a little family on yeah. board because our family's not here so you do miss home um but yeah everybody 
like the, the element of I, I, when I go home, I actually get a little bit bored after maybe a month. Because we're so used to <laughs> I'm here, the same way. You, you can open your door and there's al always someone around to talk to yeah. or there's always somebody to, to interact with. Yeah. Um, it's never lonely on board a ship. And you do, you become each other's family. It's very sad at the end of a contract when you go and you're not quite sure when or if you'll see the same people, people like again, the yeah. great friends that you've made. And the unfortunate thing is most of the time you make really good friends with people that aren't necessarily from your country. Yeah. So the chances of seeing them, you can't just pop over for coffee. No. All the time. So it, it's yeah. wonderful you end up with friends from everywhere. We've got places to stay in every country whenever we visit. But you, you do, it's quite sad at the end of, to say goodbye to people that you've shared so much with for seven months. See, uh, yeah, I can, I can pick. And the bigger the cruise line gets, the more ships they're bringing online, the, mm. the further and further chances that happens more yeah, often, they, right? They employ more people, obviously, because we have more ships coming. And yeah. But it's great for us because we, if you're on one, say, the Sapphire, and then you go on the Regal another time, you may see somebody from that ship that you saw two years ago. It's highly likely that you will. You know, <laughs> yeah. if, if you want to try different ships as opposed to having to stay on the same ship because you want to meet the same people, you may still see those people on other ships. Yes, yeah, that. definitely. Yeah, we, we disperse between all the ships, so very rarely does somebody stay on the same ship constantly. Yeah. So, well, one last question. Yeah. What would you say is the most challenging part of being a performer? On a ship? On the ship. Ah, probably the weather and okay. the... Oh. So the, the transatlantic is good for you guys right now with Hurricane Florence out there. And yeah, well, it's actually not too bad right now. We've actually been quite lucky on this country. So far, so yeah. So far, I'm touching wood now. Um, it's been pretty sm smooth sailing the whole, the whole time we've been on board. We've been on for about six or seven months now. Mm -hmm. um, but I do remember when I cruised Australia and New Zealand yep. and the Tasman Sea, the weather can be gorgeous and sunny outside, but because of the undercurrents, it is always Swell. rocking and rolling. Uh, safety always comes first, so we do, if we have to, we will cancel the show and perform it the next night, mm -hmm. if it's extremely rocky. Or I might get together with the senior production manager, we might take some of the technical elements out of the show. Uh, we do have a massive open hole occasionally where we come up and down from underneath. We don't want that hole open if the ship's moving and somebody topples into yeah. it. So we might change those elements. Um, some of that, like encore, as you mentioned that you saw, mm -hmm. we do stand and sing quite a bit for that show. So that's actually quite tricky in a pair of stiletto heels <laughs> to stand still. <laughs> in an it is. I, I have the hardest time yes, yes, in so my in heels when, I, when I'm doing that. So. Um, to stand still. Yeah. So that's something that you don't get on land is you have to, like sometimes you'll do a jump or a leap and the floor's not where you left it. It's, you feel like you're falling for a really long time or it hits you really quickly. Well, or we might all shuffle over one side or... See, it's, it, it's, you don't even think, you think of that for yourself when you're walking around on the ship. And just as an example, I was walking down today and talking to myself on the stairs while I'm filming and I went to take the step, but the ship went down and the ship stair ended up being another stair far, farther away and I just, went down so I can imagine being on stage if something especially in the dark because yes. it's not well lit all the time on a stage it's quite often dark when you're running off the stage to get into the next sets it it's, is so yeah that's probably so. the hardest bit that you wouldn't experience anywhere no. else but on a ship yeah so uh, that's so uh, I'm going to talk to Bex right now because the dancers and the singers are performing in the piazza later on tonight we are yes and last time I got a spot but then a whole bunch of people were doing this in front of me. <laughs> and oh. I, and uh, cause I don't want to interfere with the dancers. So I'm going to ask her to show me a good spot. So where I can film that and show you the dancers tonight. And then I'm told by Ron, because I have a personal connection now that maybe I can meet some of the dancers later on during the sailing and oh, we yes. can say hi. Of course you can. It's always good to, to meet dancers. <laughs> <laughs> the fun part back here, uh, well, the, what no one else really gets to see. It is, okay. Well, thank you very much. Oh, my pleasure. Most appreciative. My and pleasure, thank you. If you're in, seeing about on the Royal, check out Miss Bex here. And where are you going on this, what ship next? I'm going on the Sapphire the next. Sapphire next yes, for really Asia, Asia, right? We're actually, we're doing, we only do about seven weeks of Asia. Then okay. we go via the Suez Canal and do Dubai and all those exciting places. And then we get to the Med, see? Mediterranean. So it's, it's a really good idea. It's a rough life. It's, it, really it's, it's terrible.
I feel <laughs> I'm really sorry for you. That's but why it's addictive. Well, there you go. What a terrific lady and a, and a great dancer as well. Uh, besides also being fantastic at her job and whatever ship gets her next, I think the Sapphire is lucky to have her because uh, she was on the ball. She knew her job and she uh, was in charge and knew everything. And all those performances I watched went off without a hitch and I'm sure she's a big integral part of that. So I really appreciate her giving me the time to uh, interview her on a very busy and hectic schedule with a transatlantic cruise. I hope you too liked that video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, please hit that subscribe button and there's more coming from the Royal Princess Transatlantic Cruise soon. And I hope you'll stay tuned. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great Vicky.